Hi everyone, welcome back to a new video. Today we are going to discuss on how we can efficiently manage cashiers in POS of OT16. So let me go to the POS module and here in the configuration settings of the session, you have the feature to enable the multi employees per session. So let me enable the feature and after enabling it, you can add the employees here. So let me add the employee. So after adding the employee, let me save the settings. So once you have saved the settings, you can now go to the employee module and set pin for your cashiers. So let me go to the employee module. And let me select the employee that is Oliver. And in, in the HR settings, you can set the pin for the employee. And you can save the settings. So I'll do the same for the another employee which I have selected. And you can go to the HR settings and you can add the pin for this employee. And after saving the settings, you can go to the POS and open a new session. So you have two options here. Either you can scan a batch and log in, or if you have the pin, you can select the cashier from here and you can type in the pin and log in. So let me type in the pin yeah so as you can see i have logged in to the pure session as honey to Oliver here and now i can just add the opening cash amount and open the session and after opening the session i can add the products to the order line and here you can add the customer's name and you can do the payment you have to add the payment method and you can validate it so once you have validated the bill has been generated for the order you have done and you, you can see here in the bill that it is served by Oliver. So let me create a new order. So here you cannot see any option to close the session. So let me change the cashier to the manager that is initial admin. So once you have changed the cashier you have the option to close the session. So the manager only has the access to close and the session so once you have changed the cashier to manager the manager will be able to close the session so let me go to the configuration settings of the session now so after going to the settings you also have an option to control the price so let me enable the option and save the settings so you have the option to enable the feature price control so after enabling the feature you can now change the price of an product in the product line so i'll show you that so let me select the customer and log into a session so i have created a new session here and let me add a product to the product line so you can see the button price is disabled for this cashier because this cashier is not the manager for the session so let me change the cashier to Michel admin so once i have changed the cashier you can see now the button is enabled and now i can change the price of the product of the order line i can add the customer and do the payment after adding the payment method now you can see in the bill it is served by the Michel admin so this is the cashier which I have selected here now I can close the session from here and now let me create a new session for the POS shop let me select the cashier and give the opening amount 
add some products to the order line let me add the customer for this order and do the payment after doing the payment let me change the cashier and close the session so i'll show you how to take reports based on the cashier so after I've changed the cashier to manager, I'll close the session. So I'm going to the reportings, orders. You have the pivot view here. And in the pivot view, you can filter it by the cashiers or the employees. And you can see the orders done by this cashier. So this is really easy to filter on based on your cashiers and you can see the orders done by a particular cashier through this. So this is how we switch cashiers in POS of 4 to 16. So that's all for today. Thank you.